Grant, Mookie Hawkins, Wealthful Sports 1080. Welcome to Buffalo. I appreciate it, man. Nice to meet you, man. No doubt. Hey, man, you're getting closer uh, to playing, you know, to home back in uh, Illinois. Um, so mm -hmm. what what is what's your role you plan to play here in Buffalo? Um, I mean, my my, my role, uh, the thing that I, think I plan on playing is, you know, being being a weapon on offense, uh, being a guy that can uh, be dependent on uh, to make plays and, um, you know, situations for, you know, for the offense and um, just being able to be readily and accessibly available, available um, to to be needed, you know, uh, potentially on special teams. Um, but uh, my goal has always been to, you know, prove myself as a receiver in this league and um, no job is too small for me. Um, but I think that, uh, you know, being a guy that can uh, make plays, you know, for this offense and kind of, you know, carry over, you know, what I did last year in Miami, kind of take another step forward um, as far as being a receiver and being a guy who can um, be used uh, on offense. Absolutely, man. And last year was kind of like a breakout year for you. Uh, mm -hmm. You showed great display of hands and speed. Um, do you feel that the Dolphins kind of like undervalue that uh, with the work that you put in? And that's why you, you know, go with the mantra of uh, betting on yourself. <laughs> no, I don't, I don't think they, I don't think they, um, I don't think they devalue me or anything like that. I think it, you know, uh, it's a business, you know, and I, you know, can't take it personal. And certain things happen and, you know, they, there's, there's other things, there's other guys that they that they want to step up and um, you know for me I'm just you know looking out the you know looking out for my family and the opportunity that I know that um, you know that I can that I can prove myself uh, to be the receiver in this league that I know I can and um, you know it was a fun time in Miami I you know I thank thanks Mike thanks to Mike for giving me my first real shot um, the, thanks to the whole organization for giving me my first real shot to play receiver and you know now it's just time to you know tear it up tear it up here with, with Buffalo. No doubt, man. Can't wait to see. Thank you, man. Hi, Trent. Uh, congratulations. Uh, Matt Perino, uh, Syracuse.com. Uh, welcome to Buffalo. Thanks, man. Nice to meet you, Matt. You too. Um, can you take us into the process just a little bit, how you kind of approach free agency, what this last week was like, and then maybe what those conversations were like with the Bills as this thing kind of heated up? Man, it was, it was crazy. Like this, the whole the whole free agency was crazy. It was, it was some things I expected to happen that didn't happen. And it, it was crazy, but it was, it was a whirlwind for, you know, for me and my family. Um, I kind of, you know, went into it, uh, you know, kind of thinking that I was going to be uh, back in Miami and, you know, for whatever reason that just, that just didn't happen. Um, but, you know, once that door kind of closed, I just kind of just started focusing on different, um, you know, avenues, um, and just looking for different spots to um, be able to, you know, uh, showcase my talents and um, you know a couple of teams were in the picture but you know Buffalo came into the picture and it was just like something that I just couldn't you know look could could not look past you know with obviously the you know how the offense plays and obviously you know Dorsey and you know Josh Allen and you know everything like that it's like if you want to be an elite receiver you know you come and play with an elite quarterback you know so um, you know that's it, it was it was a crazy crazy experience this this free agency was actually kind of nerve wracking for a couple of the, couple of the days. It, it took longer than what I would have liked, but um, I'm happy and I'm at, I'm at peace, you know, with, with being here, and, you know, with the decision that I made. So, yeah. You mentioned uh, Ken Dorsey. Were you able to talk with him at all during this process? And what did you like about any of those conversations with Ken or anybody else in the Bills over here? I've sat, I've sat, I've sat down with uh, Ken today, actually. It was, it was a really, really good conversation. We kind of just went over some, you know, some different plays and stuff like that and just kind of looked at the offense and, kind of just talk some, you know, preliminary stuff, nothing too crazy. Um, but it was good to, you know, meet everybody, sat, sat down with Sean, uh, Coach Coach McDermott, um, you know, sat down with the receivers, uh, receivers coach, Coach Henry, um, got to talk with Brandon Bean a little bit, sat down with uh, Coach uh, Coach Matthew, you know, special teams coach. And um, it's, 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 it's been all good, and um, I'm excited, excited to be here. Thanks so much. Congrats again. Thanks a lot, man. Hey Trent, this is Catherine Fitzgerald with the Buffalo News. Um, I got to cover you in Arizona too, so it's good to see you here. Congratulations. Good to see you, Catherine. How you doing? I'm good. good Thanks. Good. How are you? I'm great. I'm great. Good to see you. Thank you. You mentioned building on last year and everything in one of your other answers. Where did you feel you took the biggest step last season? Um, I think I took the biggest step last season, honestly, really just getting the opportunity. Um, I think that's something that I've I've been kind of searching for, you know, this, you know, my whole career, you know, as you know, I was in Arizona, and, you know, mainly um, special teams, you know, player and uh, knew that I could, you know, knew what I could do offensively. But I think the 
because they were just getting the opportunities. Now it's more about, you know, going into those finite details of, you know, what can I do to um, increase my game and take it to another level, um, whether that be, you know, continuing to, you know, work on my speed and continue to, you know, get faster, route discipline, hands and, you know, blocking and all that different, all those different things. So, um, you know, really, really a detail oriented person. And um, some things that I've kind of, you know, listed are, you know, coming off the ball and, um, you know, making sure that, you know, quarterback friendly. Um, I think that those are, you know, so two things right now that I have in mind that I want to, you know, um, make sure that I continue to approve on as far, as far as being a receiver. But I think last year was just getting the opportunity just to get out there, just, you know, put some good things on tape and just show um, that I can do this. And I, and I am a great receiver. Well, you were waiting for those opportunities, doing all that work behind the scenes with different teams, seeing how a few different teams do things. What helped you like what can you take from that of that yeah. approach now that you come to Buffalo? I think that honestly, you know, just sticking to who I am, sticking to my routine, sticking to, um, you know, the process. Um, obviously, all the things that I've kind of been through is, you know, it's, it's, it's adversity, but everybody goes through something, you know, and this is just my, you know, this is just my story. And so um, I think that just sticking to, you know, my routine and sticking to, um, you know, my process, you know, how I work um, and just finding those little details of, you know, getting better and just never being complacent. You know, I made it, came into this league as an undrafted free agent and, you know, going on my sixth year, you know, never been on a practice squad, never been, you know, cut or anything like that. And it's not to, you know, knock anybody on practice squad or anything like that, but just a blessed, um, you know, opportunity and unfortunate being, uh, you know, some of that goes to, you know, my routine, you know, and how I go about my business and work ethic and everything like that. So, yeah, I think that that fits right in with this culture. Um, you know, got to sit down and talk with Coach McDermott um, for a little while, and it was a great conversation. I just think that this is this is a place, you know, for me, for me to thrive in, and this is, you know, in my what's in my DNA is all around this building. So, are you able to appreciate that often? Of you know, having that journey of being undrafted, hanging on for this long. Sometimes when you're in the moment, you can't be like, "Oh, I've done this," but it sounds like you're able to take a step back and appreciate that. Yeah, no, absolutely. You have to. I think that, you know, a lot of times, you know, um, there was there was times where I would get, kind of get caught up in like, well, I'm not here yet. I'm not doing this. I'm not doing that. It's like, well, hold on. Just take a step back and just look at how far you've come. And I think last year was a big was a big, um, you know, kind of like a weight lifted off of my shoulders a little bit because it was like, OK, well, OK, now I got that. I finally got that opportunity, you know, and, you know, being able to, you know, have that happen. Um, I was able to kind of take a step back and be like, well, wow, like, I have, you know, hung on this long and made it through this and made it through that. And so now it's like, okay, what, what's next? What else can I do? So, yeah. Awesome. Thanks, Trent. Congrats again. Good to see you. Yes. Uh, good afternoon, Trent. George Radney, Challenger Community News. How are you doing this afternoon? Great, George. How you doing, man? It's good to see you. Great. Same here. And coming from Miami, coming from a, a, almost a timing type office, what, what type of adjustment do you, do you foresee working with a more traditional passer like a Josh Allen from a from a tour, which seemed to be more more on a timing type schemes? I think that um, honestly, just being just always the, the play is never over. I mean, you see that all the time, you know, with Josh. And I think that um, his ability to be able to extend plays, um, I think that, you know, for me, just, you know, being able to just be ready to make sure that to be off schedule, you know, I, I may run my route and you know, it might not be there, but I can never assume that the play is just over. And I think that would probably be the biggest, you know, transition is that, you know, once my route is over, it's like, okay, the ball's not coming. It's like, where's Josh? Find Josh. And if, you know, find open space and, you know, be ready to, you know, be ready to make a play for him. So, yeah. Great. Thank you very much. And welcome to Buffalo. Thanks a lot, man. Hey, Trent. Thad Brown from uh, WROC TV in Rochester. How you doing? Congrats. Thanks, Thad. Nice to meet you, man. Hey, you too, man. Hey, you've been one of the, the top level blockers for a receiver in the NFL for a long time. What makes you so good at that particular role? I think that, you know, just the willingness. I think that's that's all it is. You know, just just wanting to do it. And um, it's something that I know that I'm good at, something I take pride in. I think that a lot of obviously when you say that, you know, to a receiver, they are like they'll probably shy away from it. But it's like, you know, for me, it's it's a job. Right. And if that's my job, I'm going to be the best at it, you know, and so. Um, you know, I kind of had to make my way, you know, sneaking through the back door in this league, you know, being a special teams player and, you know, those types of different things. So I think that that kind of, you know, goes into it, you know, helping out with, um, you know, having to, you know, drop back on kickoff return and block somebody. Right. And um, I think that 
it just makes it that much easier to be able to do it on offense as well too. And so, um, but just taking pride in it and, um, you know, um, being willing and, you know, able to do anything that, um, you know, helps the team win. So, yeah. You talk about, you know, understanding as a business and, you know, you've been living that going from team to team the last few years. I look at your situation, you're a guy, you know, great run blocker, um, you know, special teams player, don't get hurt. You know, you talk about there's no job too small for you. It would seem like to me you'd be someone every team would want to have over and over. And yet this is going to be your fourth team in four years. Why do you think yep. you've moved around so much the last few years? I think that honestly is just a part of my story. Um, I don't think that it has you know, anything to do with the lack of you know, what I've done or what, you know, um, you know, or, or, what I, or what I couldn't do or anything like that. You know, I think that um, it's just a part of the story. It's a part of, you know, um, you know my testimony. There's somebody that's probably going to have to go through this, you know, um, just like me. And that person, you know, may read my story or reach out or whatever it may be. And, you know, I, I'm, I'm probably going to have to encourage them to keep on going. So, um, you know, I think that, you know, uh, finding, a, finding a home is, you know, not as easy in the league as being, a, you know, being a draft pick or undrafted free agent, those type of different things. And so some things are different for others. And this is just my story. You know, I choose to embrace it, you know, and I think that, um, you know, hopefully and prayerfully, you know, I found a home here and I, you know, going through the building, you know, today, I feel like that that is definitely the case. That's awesome. Man. I know you're tight with Jordan Matthews. He was here for a little while, yeah. a while yeah. ago. Did you reach yeah. out to him to talk about what it might be like signing here, playing for Sean McDermott, that kind of stuff? Um, actually, I didn't I didn't get to reach out to him. I did reach out to um, Andre Roberts, though. I got to talk with Andre and um, Andre's been a big brother to me. And um, just like Jordan, just like Jay Matt has. But I'm, I'm pretty sure he's excited that, um, you know, that I'm here. I'm pretty sure I'll probably be talking to him here in the next few days about it. So, yeah. Awesome, man. Like, like I said, congrats on signing and uh, good talking with you. Thanks a lot, man. Yep. Hey, Trent, how are you? Sal Capaccio here from WGR Radio in Buffalo, also the uh, sideline reporter for your radio games. How are you, man? I'm great, Sal. How you doing, man? It's good to see you. Yeah, you too, especially how sunny it is here. You know, just like Miami, right. San Francisco, and Arizona, right? You can tell, right? No change <laughs> for you in the weather, man. Right, you know? absolutely. We all good. We good. I've been doing some reading up on you. Um, yeah. I mean, I know a lot of guys, you know, you get to the NFL level, you, the level they played a lot right. of sports, I mean, but you really – you know, accentuate that you were a quarterback, a really high level quarterback in high school, basketball, track and field. Can you expand on how all that has kind of really helped you navigate to this point in your career? I think that just, um, you know, helping out with my, you know, athletic ability, you know, and I think that obviously, you know, playing all those different sports and being around different teammates and, you know, uh, different groups. I think that that's helped me not just on the field, but also off the field too. Um, you know, learning how to be a good teammate and, you know, be a, you know, be a good friend and, you know, to, to the guys that are around and um, being able to help, you know, you know, whatever it may be, if, you know, if a guy is going through something or whatever, just being a good teammate, I think that that's helped a lot. But I think mainly um, being able, like for track, for example, right, like, you know, learn, running track has helped me learn how to run, you know, um, it's not just all about just being fast, but it's like, okay, how can I be fast with the right mechanics and learn how to run and those different things. So I think that, playing all those different sports has, has helped me out, you know, change direction, and, you know, learning how to, you know, run and, you know, all those different things. So, yeah. And then your stepdad, I read, is a basketball coach at a community yes, college. What, what, what did you learn from him as far as, you know, just kind of sports and going through that process as well? I learned a lot from him. Um, he actually played uh, overseas basketball as well, too. So um, he kind of, you know, was in that professional realm um, as well, too. So I was able to kind of learn a lot of things from him and, um, he's had, he's having some success this year with his, you know, his basketball team and um, growing up, he was my basketball coach um, in middle school as well, too. So he was always on me, always pushing me. He always seen the potential that I had. And so um, I think that, you know, him pushing me um, to the level of, of greatness that he knew that I could uh, that I could get to um, helped me out a lot because he had, he had been through it um, himself and went to the same high school, you know, played the same sports and everything like that. So when I was going, getting ready for college, you know, he knew exactly what I needed for the clearinghouse. He knew exactly what, yep. you know, type of decision that I, you know, what what facts I need to make my decision based off of college on and everything like that. So I called him even when I was making the decision in free agency. You know, I always call, call him because he always has that insight of, you know, playing professionally and having to, you know, go to play at different teams and everything like that. So, yeah. Thank you. And uh, I love it, man. I, I'm, I'm, I'm against specialization. So I, I love that message. Great job, man. Thanks, Thank you. I appreciate you, man. Thanks a lot. Yeah. Hey, um, my name is Lena Getzenberg. I work for ESPN covering the team. It's nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. 
Um, I was curious, just coming from a team where you played the Bills three times last year, like (laughs) what was your perception of the Bills? And like when you were having to make this choice between different teams, like did that at all impact like having played against them and seeing like them play so many times? Uh, Like did that all impact your decision in any way? Yeah, um, I think that it 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 impacted it in a positive way. Um, honestly, I think that playing the Bills, you know, three times last year, I could just see and just could just just feel the 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 chemistry of the team, you know, on the sideline. And that's something that we always knew that we had to be ready for. Um, when we were in Miami, we knew it was always going to be a tough game. And um, I mean, I'm, you know, Miami and Buffalo was kind of like a you know it's kind of like a rivalry a little bit. And, Um, You know, I didn't really look at it like, you know, um, oh, I'm leaving Miami and going to Buffalo or whatever it may be. Like, it's a business, you know, and, you know, teams aren't, you know, loyal to players and, you know, those have different things. But this is the best opportunity for me, you know, my family. So, um, you know, I made the decision to come here because based off of those facts, based off of, you know, the way that, you know, the offense, you know, plays and special teams and everything like that. And, um talking to former players that played here, you know, all the the great things that they were telling me about, it, you know, telling me that, hey, this is where, this is the place where you belong, you know, and so I just couldn't ignore that. And, um, you know, uh, a team that, you know, that I had to play three times and every single time we played, it was like, we got it, we got to be ready, we got to be ready. They got this guy, they got this guy, they're, they're a great team, they're this, they're that. And it's just like, when they fit all those qualities and we match the same qualities, it's like, it's just hard to turn it down, so, yeah. Yeah. And then I was just curious, you mentioned when you were talking to Sean and stuff that you like, mm-hmm. you felt the fit that it like made yeah. sense, that you clicked in a lot of ways. Was there anything like specific just as you've been in the building today that like specifically you feel like, oh, this like fits me and what I'm looking mm-hmm. for, like any specific like details or like things that as you've gone today that like have really stood out? Um, I think honestly, like when I, like when I went and, when I went and talked to, um, when I went and talked to Sean, you know, you could just kind of, just a, just a conversation was just, it was just in, in depth. It wasn't just about football. Like it was about, you know, family stuff. It was about, you know, um, off the field stuff, and, you know, uh, just, just different things that just didn't pertain all ball. You know, we kind of rarely even talked about football, which is, you know, kind of cool. You know, when you're in a league like this, you know, and it's a business, um, and when you get a coach that, you know, cares about, you know, your family and the things that are going on off the field, I think that for me that, you know, made the most uh, made the most impact for me. Um, and then obviously just meeting uh, some of the other guys, you know, some guys that are here kind of training right now, they were coming up to me, you know, introducing themselves and, you know, going out their way to, you know, talk to me and stuff like that. I think that that just speaks volumes to the type of people that are around here. Awesome. Thank you so much and welcome to Buffalo. Thanks a lot. Appreciate it.